It's not looking for your niche and finding the best market segment. It's like designing your one ideal perfect customer that this is the person that, in, like if you had the perfect customer that was everything about your brand that lived in your values that understood like who is that person? But then literally I have a full customer profile where it's like, you know, you have to get a photo of somebody from Google if you need to, right? And then put a name to them. And then like, what's their gender? Do they even have one? Like, you know, we start going through how do they like to vacation? How do they spend their money? How much money do they make? Like, you know, really taking that romance out of it and being like, well, if this is your ideal, focus on that one person. So now you know how they want to be spoken to, what platforms they live on, right? Like you have it all. So now what you do is you multiply that one person by a hundred, a thousand, 20,000, you know what I mean? A million, you build up your power base. Influencers have always been around forever outside of business. And it's like, right? Like my mom used to wear a really awesome jacket and her parent, her friends were like, what jacket is that? And then she influenced their decision to maybe go buy that jacket. Like, so, you know, you have your, like your micro, your mini, your, you know, your massive influencers, what, you know, the whole scale of, of things. I've seen a lot of people that I really highly respect sell themselves out to, you know, H and M, uh, you know, um, influencing H and M's newest thing. Like we know H and M's not a good company. We we get that, um, but they'll get a paycheck for it. And especially when you're coming up, you just want to be right. So of course H and M's gonna be like, here's some free clothing. Like to sell out your values for free clothing or like a little paycheck. Like, and I understand the bigger that you get, the bigger paychecks get, and it's a little bit more complicated than that. But hopefully you also have more options to decide on what you want to do. So you know, I think that for influencers, I think that the best way to do it is to really define your values and really be very hyper self-aware um, about um, how you live, uh, the things that you value, um, you know, what your lifestyle entails, and then lean into those products. And that way you're not really selling, you're showcasing your life through product and then find the ones that work. You know what I mean? Like you could, like that, that's a leverage point anyways. And so, you know, I have a, a great friend of mine um, who is a uh, fashion influencer, but he's also like, so he's tattooed, he's um, full into fashion, he's vegan, he's yoga, and he's just that. He literally is that. And so you never really know if he's selling you or not, because that's his life. It's literally like, if you meet him, it's exactly who he is. And like, when he shows your products, you, you're like, okay, you might be selling me right now, but like, I believe you I can see how authentic you are across the board. So like, I will try it or, you know, thanks because your lifestyle is my lifestyle. Um, but it's not all sell. And majority of the time you have no idea that you're, that he's selling. And like they do in a really, really, you know, strategic way and they build content around different things and they're just living their life and making money and building their business. And I think that that authenticity goes so far. <laughs>